All right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the very next installment of How To. In today's episode, we're going to learn how to jam or solo over the 2018 Kiesel Contest backing track. Roll credits. <laughs> So if you're new to soloing or improvisation, but you know a little bit about scales, this video is for you. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at the awesome 2018 Kiesel Contest backing track. I'm going to play along with the rhythm right now. And then after that, we're going to break it down. And then I'm going to do something special at the end of this video. And then I'm going to go ahead and play it on out. But first, the 2018 Kiesel Contest backing track. So the first thing we need to talk about is the chords so we can determine what our key or what our mode is. Now this starts on a what I'm going to call a non-dominant 7, E major non-dominant 7, so those tones are going to be E, G sharp, B, D sharp. A lot of people play it like this. What I think they're using is this chord right here. Really great sounding chord. Then we move to a, what sounds to me like a G sharp minor with an added ninth. And then we move to an F sharp with an added fourth. And just for the sake of tangibility, I'm gonna say that we're in the E Lydian mode because we actually start on an E and E is really heavy here and it kind of feels like we're home when we get there. So we're in E Lydian now. E Lydian has five sharps. It is technically the fourth mode of B major. So that means our fourth scale degree is going to be sharp compared to our E major. So our E major scale has E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. What we want to do is raise the fourth scale degree, and that's going to be an A sharp. So it'll be like this. <clears throat> or if we think about it, E, F sharp, G sharp, A to A sharp. So E, F sharp, G a sharp b c sharp d sharp e has a really kind of cool and unique sound now i've talked about the kind of qualities and other properties it has in another video so i'm not really going to get into it here uh, but what i am going to do is give you three scales or Technically, it's three variations of the same scale, but I am going to give them different names. But for now, just know that we are in the mode of E Lydian. And the reason I'm going to give you three different scales is because we have three different chords and I'm going to relate them specifically to those chords. And after that, I'm going to give you some technique ideas to help your thinking um, in terms of melody, making better melodies, and just breaking outside of that rut of playing scales over and over, or just playing scales up and down. Okay, so our first scale is going to be a B major scale starting on 7 of the E string. It's going to be a 3 notes per string scale, and it's going to go like this. 7, 9, 11 on the E, 7, 9, 11 on the A, 8, 9, 11 on the D, 8, 9, 11 on the G, and then we'll have 9, 11, 12 on the B, and 9, 11, 12. All together... Okay, so that's our first scale, 
And just as a quick note, we don't have to play these actual scales over the chords as they're kind of indicated on the charts. We can use any one of these scales over the entire progression. It's just that I'm relating specifically this scale to this chord. But for now, just, just remember that you can use any one of these scales at, over the entire progression and that you don't have to mix all three of them together, although you certainly can. And I would encourage trying to do such a thing as that. But let's just go ahead and move on. Now our G sharp minor, for that I'm gonna associate that with the G sharp pentatonic, which is gonna start um, on our E string, bottom E, it's gonna be 16, 19, A string's gonna be 16, 18, D string 16, 18, G string 16, 18, B string 16, 19, and our, and our last is E string 16, 19. scale that I give you, which I'm going to call F sharp mixolydian. Don't worry, that's just the name I'm giving it because of where its, it's starting tone is. It's still five sharps and the scale will work over the entire progression as well. But we're going to start that F sharp mixolydian here on uh, 14 of the E, 14, 16, 18, 14, 16, 18 of the A, 14, 16, 18 of the D, 15, 16, 18 of the G, 16, 17, 19 of the B, and 16, 18, 19 of the E. Okay, I will play through all of those over the backing track in just a second just to give you an idea of how they sound. Um, Before I get to that, I would like to give you some ideas or just a few techniques that you can use to help you think um, outside the box. So the first one is going to be Ar um, arpeggios. Basically what we're going to do is combine an E major and a G sharp minor arpeggio together and it's going to give it this sound. <laughs> And when we use these arpeggios, what we're going to do specifically is called arpeggio stacking. So um, I could keep going with that E major or something like that up, up the rest of the fretboard and, and hit other uh, hit other forms of E major and keep on going. But what I'm going to suggest to you is that we try something called arpeggio stacking. So uh, here I'm taking this uh, E non-dominant seventh arpeggio. And I'm going to slide up to a B, mar uh, B major arpeggio. And then I'm going to do a turnaround here on that same B major arpeggio and then slide up to a G sharp minor arpeggio. And you can use any one of these, I think, in any order. It'll probably sound fine. But the order I'm going to give you and the, the lick I'm going to show you is going to go like this. One more time. Okay, and again, you'll see me demonstrate that, uh, especially I think at the end, but uh, we'll go over that one in the little backing track. Next we have interval stacking, okay? And since we're in E Lydian, I'm just gonna do it in starting with the tone E, and that's gonna go E or 12 on the E string, 14 on the A, 16 on the D, 18 on the G, and then 19 on the B and then 21 on the high E. Something like that. There's the octave. So the idea is that you're just stacking fifths. Another easy but fun idea is to do simple string skipping. So I'm gonna number the string, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna go six, four, five, three, four, two, three, one. Something like that. And then I can take fragments within this. So here I can take, you know, this seven, nine, 11, seven, nine, 11, or this uh, eight, nine, 11 uh, pattern here and just use nine, 11. And then where we had 9, 11, 12 here and just play the 9, 11 with the string skip. And then uh, you can move that in sequence. Just little ideas like that. Uh, even take it real nice and slow.
Okay, so any any one of these patterns will work where you can take a fragment and do string skipping And then of course there's the pentatonic string skipping it's the same idea uh, so that A lot of people don't realize how easy it is to create good melodies simply using string skip We can do a leap followed by a resolution By step or we can do a step followed by a leap and come back the other way So I hope that you're able to get some mileage out of this. They're just, again, they're ideas and you just need to experiment and you need to be as, um, you know, carefree and just let things happen as they might. You know, um, in the words of my drum teacher a long time ago, she, she had the best advice for me. And I said, how do I hit this low C note? I was playing four mallet marimba at the, at the time. And she just says, you just got to go for it. Just go for it. And I thought, okay, well, that's that's really great advice. So, yeah, with a lot of these, just go for them in your improvisations. You know, mistakes are good. Like hitting wrong notes are, is like a good thing because eventually you'll learn to correct yourself or you'll either take those bad notes and turn them into something that sounds good. So, remember, sounds are subjective. And what you do with them is a matter of like class and taste and like interpretation to make them good or bad. There's really no such thing as a... Uh, bad sound. Okay, what I'm going to do now is uh, demonstrate all of these uh, scales and ideas over the track just quickly so you get an idea of how they sound and really what to do and where to play them. And just remember that even even though I'm giving you like specific modes, each one of these scales will have their own distinct sound. You can use them throughout the entire progression. And that's what I highly suggest you do. And then you learn how to put them all together. So we start with our E non-dominant 7 to our G sharp with our ninth to our F sharp added 4 starting to build here's our E Lydian starting on 7 Sharp pentatonic. Also F sharp mixolydian. that little arpeggio stack that I was talking about. Here we go. Start on this E. Okay. Then we also have the interval stacking idea. Okay. And then lastly, we had our tree skipping. And I'll just demonstrate that with the E Lydian like this. I'll just go. I think that's enough now uh, hopefully you get the idea that you just have to try these things over until you find something that you like um, it doesn't have to be fast or shreddy or, or anything like that now everything I do here in just a second at the end of this video will reflect what we did in a more kind of like organic flowing setting where I feel like I'm uh, where I'm more improvising these things and so uh, one, I hope you enjoy that, but two, see if you can kind of look where my hands are and figure out what I'm doing and how I'm using these things. But if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And so now I'm going to talk about uh, the pedal giveaway. What I'm going to do is uh, when and if I hit 400 subscribers, I will for sure now give away the Rowan Plexion and Rowan Chorus together or probably ship them to you from Amazon. Whoever the winner is will do a 
drawing where you have to be a subscriber and either leave a comment or something like that and I'll give you a number write that number out throw in a hat my wife will probably draw it out uh, like we did last time uh, just keep an eye out for that if you uh, have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments I hope you guys found this helpful all right I'm gonna go ahead and play out this video like I said and uh, as I always say always be excellent to each other and party on mm -hmm.